Hello everybody, welcome back. Again, I'm so excited to share my own recipe. It's called Peri Peri Poha and Potato Pie. As in it sounds again interesting, I can't wait to share. It's so unique, you can have this dish for dinner or lunch and kids love it. I try at home with my family and my girls like it. So I thought, okay, it's a tick and I would like to share with you all. So let's get started. For this recipe, I prepared all my ingredients. So I wash poha under runny water, cabbage and cheese already as well. I would like to tell you more about potato chips. So I did this nice round circle potato chips and I kept potato skin. Reason for that that once I'm going to boil all potato chips, this skin will help these chips to hold properly and not going to fall in part. While this water is boiling, I'm going to add salt just for taste and straight away I'm going to add potato chips and we're going to boil for 5 minutes because it's going to recook again in oven. Ready and it's been boiling last 5 minutes so I'm going to turn off and I'm going to remove these chips from this water and I will let it cool down. Before we cook poha, we are going to fry peanuts until it's a nice and golden brown color. And we are going to cook poha in the same oil. So first I'm going to add mustard seeds. Cumin seeds, asphatida, some grated ginger, some curry leaf. Now I'm going to add chopped onion. Now I'm going to fry this onion until it's nice and soft. And then I'm going to add all other spices. This onion is nice and soft now, so I'm going to add turmeric powder, cumin and coriander powder, and salt according to your taste. Now I'm going to add poha. At the same time, peri peri sauce. I'm using mild peri peri sauce, but if you like that a hot flavor, you can add that a hot peri peri sauce or lemon herb one. Now I'm going to mix poha and spices and onion very well. So this poha is ready now and we are going to recook again in oven. So my oven proof dish is ready and I already grease that oven proof dish and further we are going to cook in oven. Everything is ready so first layer we are going to make with potato chips. I greased earlier with oil but you can grease with butter. So these potato chips won't stick in dish. I kept slightly thicker uh, chips. Now second layer, we're going to add pasta sauce. 
any pasta sauce so I have two different flavor one is a three cheese pasta sauce and other one is a sun-dried tomato pasta sauce but it's totally according to your taste now third layer with poha and some peanuts looks yummy some cabbage and onion feta cheese again it's up to you I like a flavor of feta cheese so I add th this one and cheese on the top I'm using a tasty cheese but if you like a mozzarella cheese it's totally fine going to do repeat again same way one more layer with potato chips and pasta sauce poha and if you have a leftover poha you can have for breakfast or for lunch so every time when I make this dish and if I have a leftover poha I use for breakfast or lunch, light lunch and if you have a leftover potato chips I deep fry and kids can have with tomato sauce and also with a cabbage I'm using cabbage but you can use a spinach or uh, any other vegetable like a leafy vegetable and very last one more layer with potato and right on the top cheese and then we are going to cook in oven at 190 for 15 to 20 minutes because poha potato chips it's everything already cook half cook now I'm going to sprinkle with cheese now so I sprinkle evenly so it cover potato chips and it cook properly and then now it's ready for oven oven is ready at 190 we're going to cook for 20 to 25 minutes but I always look the cheese until it's nice and golden brown on the top and then I stop So this peri peri poha and potato pie is ready. I hope you all enjoy the way my girls enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. And don't forget to share with your friends and family as always because it's a yummy dish, one pot dish. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.